what was your first monthly book? Uh, Shade the Changing Girl. So, Shade, Shade the Changing Girl. <laughs> if you want to see it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, Shade is about this alien. Yeah. Uh, who comes down, and uh, she inhabits the body of. I'll a, let you tell a it. A sixteen-year-old girl who it turns out is the biggest bully in her school, and um, so. Uh, Loma, who's the name of the alien, uh, is a bird, and now she's in this human teenage body and um, that she doesn't really know how to, you know, be in, and her superpower is madness. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So how does madness work as a superpower? Like, what would, give me an example of what something like madness would do as a Just superpower. Just like, uh, she doesn't really know how to control it, so basically, let's say, um, let's say I were a bad person person mm -hmm. uh you know maybe all of a sudden like my face would start melting into bugs oh, wow. or um you know or like uh if um if you were lovely which you are but mm -hmm. <laughs> you know maybe like there would be like uh it's very psychedelic okay. you know it's like it's just think of like you're just i guess tripping on acid all the time <laughs> even though i've never tripped on acid but this i, I is imagine this is my take would... on what it would be like yeah um, and so uh, it was sort of an examination of what it means to be human mm -hmm. um, with this sort of alien perspective and where uh, your sort of emotions are completely unfiltered, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so Shade is actually based on a Steve Ditko character, uh, which was created in the 70s called Shade the Changing Man. Mm -hmm. And that only ran for eight issues. Um, but then Peter Milligan um, rebooted it uh, in the... 80s, late 80s and 90s on the first wave of Vertigo books. Mm -hmm. um, and so he he did like 76 issues or something with oh, Shade wow. the Changing Man. That's a really long run. Yeah, so, um, and it's kind of like, everybody knows Sandman, and Sandman is like cool and, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, but if like you're hardcore Vertigo, you're you know a Shade, Shade fan, fan. Yeah. yeah. So um, so it was a real honor to like get that character. And once again, that was Shelly. Mm -hmm. Shelly called me and said, it's a YA and it's got aliens, yeah. which are like two things that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> you know, I love outer space and I love uh, young adult books. So, um, so yeah, so I got to like try out, you know, audition. and Yeah. And it's, was it a, a fun process? Because the young animal books have this like uh, very eclectic, very like out there, odd style. Um, what was it like to, to kind of experiment with that oddness? Or did you kind of have that like, okay, I know this Vertigo book is a little bit more not mainstream or a little bit more not run-of-the-mill like superhero book what, what was your experience with that well i really have to give um uh kudos and a big huge shout out to marley zarconi who's the artist on shade um i think that her and i when we met for the first time over skype we looked at each other and we we're just like oh it's like my new best friend. <laughs> and, you know, I think that really can't be understated, just the, the um, symbiosis that there is between word and pictures in comics, obviously, we know. Yep. I mean, you can't have it's it everything. without, yeah. And when you have a relationship that is just so in sync, um, like Marley and I had, and I've been very lucky, I've had that with a lot of artists that I work with, um, it just makes it a lot easier because then I can say, okay, here's a full script and panel one, panel two, panel three, panel four. But when you're dealing with madness, what do panels even really mean? And the fact that like Marley could take the craziness that I was trying to imbue into the script and, you know, have the script be a kind of scaffolding for her to like just let loose on the page and sort of break the form, um, you know, break, uh, you know, what the idea is. And then also um, Rackshade, the original character that, uh, well, not that... Um, Ditko did, but when Peter Milligan reinvented him, he's called sort of the mad poet. And so I have a lot of poetry in the book, too. So it's very lyrical, very loose, very crazy. Um, and it was just, it was one of the, it, ha it was one of the best artistic experiences I've ever had that, you know, Shelley, um, ended up leaving. Um, so we had a different, um, editor, uh, Jamie S. Rich and, um, Molly Mahan and, uh, you know, just the, the team was amazing. And, um, you know, Kelly Fitzpatrick's colors, the colors are just, I mean, look at that. It's just really gorgeous. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you can look really... at their code look right at there. That. It's what? just, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> so, um, it's tripping me out just looking yeah. at it. So it really was just like a, it was a wonderful experience. And um, yeah, I hope to repeat an experience like that again. And it's so special when you just click with somebody and yeah. it's just all the cylinders are running at the same mm -hmm. page. It just turns out to be just yeah. a much, 
ama- it's such an amazing experience that way. Yeah, and I and like I said, I've had. I mean, like I love working with Nate. Nate Powell and I are, um, you know, we're uh, we're in the process of like pitching a, a graphic novel for kids because um, we loved working with each other so much. Jim Rugg and I did the Plain Janes together, and um, you know, we're doing the third one. I mean, we just love the each trilogy. other. Yeah, it's just uh, I I've been so lucky to have such to have made such great friends with the artists that um, I ended up with. Yeah, I mean that's that's a blessing, and it's just a you know you're a yeah. very wonderful person, so I can well, see how thanks. it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Elmar. <laughs>